I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. Do come in, Mrs... My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to... Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Uh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then, what is this about? Uh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who. Are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. This illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Very well, then. Thank you, miss. Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's... it's my father, sir. He's missing. I... I don't know what to do. What's his name? George Hurst, sir. Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie! Obviously. Your clothes are well mended and you can read. Your parents may be poor, but you are loved. Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. My mother died when I was a little one. And that's just one more reason for not leaving you. Your father doesn't seem the irresponsible type. He's very good to you. Well, that's right. But he has no fixed work, so he often takes odd jobs for the day. Because that's all he can find. Only this time, he didn't come home. And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. 
strange. In what way? He said to me, Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look after myself. What do you mean, sir? Nothing. I was digressing. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street. The first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My archive. Poor child. Holmes, you should help him. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. These streets are too narrow for the cab, I'll have to walk. North Street.
Dorset Street. This is our home, Mr. Holmes. Please, sir, find my father. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Tom probably reads at night. A collection of worn out and second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me, but I know that he pawned his coat for them. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup, a clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skill. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. My mother, sir, she died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. The old Tabard pub, North Street. The old Tab... The old Tabard pub, North Street. Glue. Probably taken from a wall. The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it. Too dark, I can't see anything. It's too dark, I can't see anything. It's too dark, I can't. Find my father.
It's too dark. I can't see anything. It's too dark. I can't see anything. George Hurst's work was varied. He was evidently a hard-working and valuable hand. A leather satchel, what's in it? Just some old thing. Just some old things. The old Tabard pub? Did you hear anything about it from your father, Tom? My father's a regular, but he's not a drinker, sir. It's close by on North Street. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins. And I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that. I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me... I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Nobody at home.
Whitechapel High Street. North Street. I need to earwig to find out who is offering this special job. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. Child labour law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. No gods, no masters. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. Child labour law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. No, no, no. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he never drinks alcohol. So, the man I'm looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. The child labour law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. It's not him. This must be the man that I'm looking for.
interesting. A missing person. I should find out more. See that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. Chapel never changes. Dirt and beggars everywhere. Won't let me pass. I'll need to find another way. Which folk feed meat to their dogs? Living costs are too much these days. My son has to work down the sewers. He's only. Stupid kid! <laughs> I'll be able to continue the chase if I climb up the chimney, but it's dangerous. What are you waiting for? Still here, that's a relief.
What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. No place to hide here. We'd better go through the yard. Oi! What are you doing in my garden? Showing Jim from Chamber Street. Hey Jim, can you lend me your kit? I'm on a secret mission for Mr. Holmes. Mm -hmm. It's dirty, I should use a damp cloth. with a small brush. This could be useful. What are you... Oh, I'm sorry. Need to get closer. At last, the weather's good. Last week was freezing. I'm praying it doesn't get cold again. I've never managed the cold. I can't lose him now. Interesting. What's going on in the yard?
I can't... I can't see what's inside. It's too dangerous to enter. Wow, a lot of expensive stuff. Ah, oh, coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. Can't leave yet. I'm not finished here. Do only two people live here? Are we... Do only two people live here? I wish one would bags. Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get out. Wiggins' tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Wiggins did a good job. Here it is. So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? You will tell me, won't you, Father? We'll see. 
If you behave. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? It's wonderful. Go, go, Mr. Holmes. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes... It won't and can't happen. Uh, come in, please. <gasps> Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? 
Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes? But also insight, and Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Forgive me, Lord Marsh, you're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you. But I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. <gasps> Don't fuss. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. I'm gratified by your interest in my charity. You're the first who has offered to help. I'm intrigued by the special education program. Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the... Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education... Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. John Strobridge. I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. Ha, yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. 
will most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. I'm intrigued by the special education program. I'm gratified. Lord... Lord Marsh... A provision dealing... Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. Aid for the paupers of Lambeth work. It's extremely honourable to devote one's whole life to a... Bags full of food. It's... It's closed.
Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. I'm gratified. Is... is there... Despite my title, yes. I have to share my home with these bags full of food for the poor. I'm gratified by your interest. Look. Mr. Holmes, do you have any news about my father? Tom, Tom, not so fast. I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. What's this box, Tom? Oh, yeah. I just found it, Mr. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. This oil can also be used on weapons. Wolfjack looks like a military badge. A ramrod. Tom, does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. This scrap of cloth was used to oil a firearm. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil and we'll find that rifle. Come on, Toby. It's time for you to earn your keep. Watson? I prefer to visit Lord Marsh. I'm worried about the condition of his health. I have better things to do than roam...
Search, Toby. Search. Pile of rubbish. Old things. Ordinary storage. Tom's photograph. Let's try to get inside.
News clippings on lords in the education program. Why are they here? Let's compare this list with the evidence that we found earlier. This is the list of selected participants for October's special education program. According to this poster, John Strobridge is missing. Let's compare them with people from Hearst documents. This man appears in both documents. Hmm. All the people in Marsh's document are marked and dated in George Hurst's files. This This case must have been full of cartridges. A map of Epping Forest. A map of Ep. A map of Ep. Rubbish. It's not here. Nothing that could interest me.
Here it is. I won't disturb. You'll find my father soon. This case
just rubbish. Just some old things. <laughs> 